So just recently in the AP, it says breaking, it says New York Governor uh, Kathy Hochul acknowledges nearly 12,000 more deaths in the state from COVID-19 that have been publicized by her predecessor, Andrew Cuomo. And this was reported through the Associated Press. And of course, the new governor here who, uh, who has just transitioned into power because of Cuomo leaving. And of course, many people who had been cheering for this for quite some time, there was a lot of information about how many people really had died in association with, with, with what had gone on in the nursing homes back in 2020. And a lot of that information was suppressed, both by the mainstream media, as well as the local government, and as well as the federal government. Now, I know many people are cheering, thinking that Cuomo is getting his due. There's even an article here as a 26 that says ethics agency could claw, back, uh, could claw back Cuomo's $5 million book deal. And as well as recently, uh, there was a stating that Cuomo would have his Emmy pulled, etc. And for quite some time, there was literally zero information in regards to the allegations that were uh, basically thrown at Governor Cuomo. Now, it's important to understand that as basically, you know, the, the leader of the state is the governor, very much like people look at DeSantis, right? As the leader of his state who has made all these different uh, bannings of mask mandates and, and uh, vaccine mandates, etc. Of course, Cuomo on the other side, and that's why I did that video. Um, that's why I did that video where I utilize the quote that say, you know, that the coward dies a thousand deaths, but the vigilant die just but once. And this is why. And I understand that many people are happy at the outcome, thinking that like justice is being done and, and finally, in, you know, stuff is coming out. And you have to understand that there is a much bigger reason about why I believe Andrew Cuomo was ousted. Now, literally, and I, and I reported on this, the exact same day that the AG had stated that they were going to move forward with uh, the allegations was the very same day that de Blasio announced the vaccine passports. Now, if you have been paying attention to Governor Cuomo, Governor Cuomo had made this statement, and this is why I personally believe why he was ousted. You cannot mandate vaccines because these vaccines are approved under something called an emergency use authorization, EUA. And by law, you can't mandate a vaccine approved under an emergency use authorization. So you can't say, for example, uh, college students must uh, have a vaccine. You cannot mandate a vaccine under an EUA. You can mandate measles, which had a full approval, etc., but you can't mandate uh, these vaccines, which are still all under emergency use authorization. It's important to understand when you are no, and this is history, when you are no longer useful to the left, the left completely disregards you and they oust you in a shameful way. And this is what I have reported re, uh, recently on on uh, what was it? It was UNICEF that had talked about child prawn and how oh child prawn really not that bad. I did an article on that. And I previously had done another article talking about how another video talking about how many of these politicians who go into politics to try to do the right thing end up in some way, shape, or form getting some sort of an allegation hung over their head. And so for many of them, they get Placed in a bad situation and in my opinion 
I think he was ousted because of what he had stated. That the state was trying to get him to force the vaccines on the population, but they couldn't do it, as he said, because it's unlawful, right? It's unlawful to, to do that. And he publicly took that stand. But that was not the stand that other, other individuals like in California and, of course, the stand that de Blasio had taken, right? And so if you're not going to play a ball with us, we're going to find somebody to replace you. And this is basically, in my opinion, what happened to Governor Cuomo. It's why as much as people look at this situation and they look at, like, like, it's like the Joe Bidens of the world. Like Joe Biden is just a puppet that you see. He's just a puppet that you see, just like the de Blasio's, just like the Cuomo's, etc. These are just henchmen and you have to look beyond them. You have to look beyond them and you have to realize, well, who are the ones that are really pulling the strings? And these are the people that we have to focus on. Individuals like this are easily broken over time because most of these people do not have, or at the very least, perhaps have a conscience. And so eventually their conscience gets to them. And of course, what happens moving forward is then you become ousted. You, you fall out of dis, you fall into disfavor and then they just completely dump all you all the favor that they had shined upon you is now immediately pulled away and this is why i utilize that quote that for those who choose not to take a, a stand up front but they conform a little bit and they allow themselves to be manipulated and that is why that quote is so uh that is why that quote is so fitting for the Cuomo's of the world and for the same thing for what's happening with Joe Biden, right? The same thing that's happening with Joe Biden is that these individuals don't take a stand. And as a result, like it says, that the coward dies a thousand deaths, but the valiant only dies but once when he tastes death. And it's because these individuals, they conform and they conform and they conform. And then the moment their conscience bothers them and they don't want to move they don't want to move forward anymore they're ousted in a way that is shameful and of course we look at them and we and we kind of cheer as if it's a victory not realizing that some of these individuals are actually coming around and instead of pushing these individuals to speak truth we then jump on the back of these individuals in accordance with what the state wants. This is exactly what the deep state wants you know, your average American, your average normie to do, imagining that this is a victory. And in my opinion, not perhaps realizing that this was someone who was turning around and wanting to make different decisions than what they were told to be done. This is just my opinion. If you have been following what had been going on in New York, Governor Cuomo was not always playing ball and he had on numerous occasions where de blasio was calling for shutdowns and for lockdowns and for uh, other restrictions governor cuomo was pushing for more freedom which is why new york opened up the way it did despite if you look back when new york opened up people were questioning you know andrew cuomo why were you opening up and as you have seen there really hasn't been much going on in new york since new york has opened up but we're gonna have to leave it there anyway just sharing my opinion on what's moving forward i have no doubt that as a result of governor cuomo's actions but of course the left will make him pay and will make him pay severely but this has always been the narrative with the left as they always say that the left eats itself <laughs>